Hey guys, I am away on my birthday vacation, but I do have a video I'd like to share with you. This is a large flower that I did out of cardstock. Cardstock. No, it's not made out of cardstock though. It's made out of cardstock. And I show you my errors and I show you my corrections on this. Again, you know, this is trial and error for me. I've never done it. And I hope you enjoy the video. And if you do, please give me a thumbs up and always subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, hit that notification bell as well. Subscribe, and we'll see you inside the video, okay? In creating my large uh, flower, I'm gonna use this print and this solid. And also this pearlized blue. It's pearlized on this side. I don't know if you can really see that or not. Or not pearlized, I'm sorry, it's a shimmering blue. So I'm going to use these three colors for this large flower. Here are my layers. This is going to be my center layer, the next to the center. These, because I have them printed, have a printed uh, side, I'm going to fold them in like this versus like this. And all my solids, the purple is not a uh, special, it's just a flat cardboard, I mean uh, cardstock, whereas the blue has a little shimmer to it. So when I do these, they are going to be just as you see them, up like this. Now to curve my ends, which I will need to curve all my ends, I think I'm going to curve them all except for the ones in the center, which are these smaller ones here. I'll take my large spatula and do just like this. If you have a boning tool, that's, you can use that as well. But this works good for me. Put it in the center of the piece there, fold it up, and run it down. And it curls it just fine for me. So I'm gonna go through and curl all of my pieces and then we're gonna assemble it. I'm curling all my pieces so I won't have to curl them individually when I start to glue them together. And I'm curling them so that you can see the print. And the only ones I'm not curling are the center pieces. Now with my inside, I'm not sure whether I wanna curl these. I'm gonna curl these in. Maybe easier for me to, to fold them together. Nope, other way. There we go. Wait, wait, wait. No, I want to curl them in. So I'm going to curl them into each other. So I'm just going. There we go. All right. So I did curl the inside uh, sections as well because I'm gonna take these, of course, and that's gonna be the bud or the very center of the flower, and I want the print to show and not the white. So I curl them just so that it will um, aid me in making sure it stays tight. Well, all my ends are curled, that's so pretty. Let's assemble our flower. Okay, let's put the middle first, together first. And then turn these upside down like this and put them together. And then I'm making sure that I put it right up to the edge of each one of these, see? Right there on the edge, right there on the edge. Do the same way with the other ones. Put right. To where it looks just like that. Put it even on there. Centered and even. 
afraid that was not centered, so I'm going to ease it up and try it again. The other one on centered. The edge right there, edge right there. There we go. And those are on centered. I'm going to take my scoring pin and score right here, 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 and here to so so it'll fold up better. Go right there, here, here, and here. Got glue there. Let's get that off of there. There we go. Fold up better. These two come in. I'll put glue on the opposite. Because I want to fold it in this side in. Whereas on the other side of this is going to be inside, just like that, and do it all the way around. So on the bottom half of this, it's going to go around on over to this side. And if you try to get your hearts in there correct, I say hearts, like the top of your heart. You get your rounded part in there so that they connect. Usually works out pretty good when you do that. So this side is going to go outside of this. This one is going to go inside. Uh oh, I didn't want to tear it. I'm going to go all the way around. This is going to be the outside. There we go. And this is going to be the inside. Yep, that's right. It's going to be the inside. be the same. This inside and this outside. So let me put a little bit down at the bottom of that and fold that up. Now, now, it's open a lot more than I want it to be, so what I'm going to do is just pull it up and tighten it up. Tighten them all the way around till I have it the way I want it. And then we're going to do the inside ones. Although, no, that's not quite my bud. Let's do that again. That's not quite the bud that I want to have. Take my time and take that off. Take this out. Taking my time so I don't rip it. So I'm going to take the inside and bring it in just a little more. Hold on a second, guys. Let me see if I can get that off. I want to keep it on camera so you can see it, but I don't, I'm taking my time because I don't want to rip it. Okay. All right. So, my outside ones, I'm going to 
take them down. Okay, and these, I'm gonna bring it closer together like this. And then wrap my outside ones on it. So bring it in closer together. There we go. That's more along the lines of what I want. And glue that. Then I'll wrap these around. I'm gonna use the same technique. I'm gonna go in and out. Cause I want it to be layered. So this one will go in. like that and this one will go in here that right yep that's right so that one will go in that folds in and that folds in now that's more of the bud that I want around my ends pull this up so that it sit up in the center okay so here is my bud shape it a little bit more okay that's the bud that's what I want to be in the center now I'm going to add the rest of it All right, let's put the remaining layers together. All right, this is the last section. And when I'm putting these together, I'm making sure that my um, inside pieces, when I put them in, that they are like right here on the seam so that they are not gonna be, this folded part is gonna be able to fold or this outside part is gonna be able to fold and it's not so far into the um, piece that it's gonna mess it up. See, I want it to fold up pretty good without messing up the pieces, okay? All right, now this is what our layer is gonna look like. it's gonna go inside just like that so I am going to bring them all up and glue them at the very bottom of them and we'll see how our flower turns out okay guys so there is my finished product to me it's not the best looking flower and it can look better than that and but you know me I'm gonna go through and show you all the errors and the mistakes that I'm making as I'm doing these projects which are new to me this year so um, what I did wrong here is on my petals as I went towards the center I should have continued to do them layered and I did not I started pulling the um, heavier stock forward and then putting the softer spot uh, stock to the outside of it meaning I was using my printed to go on the outside of my um, solid, which I shouldn't have done that. I should have kept it going just like I was doing in the center all the way around and all the way around my flower. And it had been a little bit more consistent than what it is now. But this was a trial and error. This is how I learned how to do it. And I also scored the center from the little point down. I scored that so it folded a little bit better, which is good. You might want to go around your product or your cardstock and sort of break it apart a little bit maybe, you know? So it's a little bit easier, more pliable, something that you can work with. But this is what I've got. Uh, this is what I ended up with. It's an okay flower. It's not the best flower, but like I said, trial and error, here we go. Now we know our mistake, or well, I know my mistakes, which way to do it and which way not to do it. So, and I think this piece right here ripped, that piece, that, that uh, petal right there ripped. 
But as you see, if I was kept going around like I was doing in the center, it would have made a beautiful pick, beautiful uh, flower all the way around. But that's my flower. We'll see how on the next project how it turns out. Putting these flowers together takes some perfection and it takes some time and it also takes a little bit of doing it over and over again in order to get them correct. I've noticed that um, if I score the bottom, which is right here, of each one of my petals, it's easier for me to fold up. And also if I take and score up on my petals, it's easier for me to fold around and it stays that way and it doesn't cause me to straighten out my, straighten out my curls and I don't want to straighten out my curls. So we see how doing that technique helps me put it together better and it holds while the glue is drying, which is another uh, plus. And the leaves fall in place that so you see are alternated. This is behind, this part is in front, behind, front, behind, front, and all the way around. Now my next set of leaves, I'm gonna put them together just like I put together the last. Okay, here's my first flower, guys. It turned out perfect as a beautiful flower. I found it also easier to alternating the petals so that the petals are not all in the same spot. Now I can add another one of the larger ones to the back end of this and make it fuller so I could fill in this area, fill in this area, fill in this area. But you make your flower the way you like it and just know there is a lot of um, little tips that you can learn, watch different videos of people making the big flowers. But like I said, the, the things that I found that were difficult were um, folding the leaves up, making sure that the, the material was pliable in order for the leaves to come up on it, and attaching them to uh, one another. You have to have patience and you have to take your time in doing it because you want your glue to dry before you move on to the next one. Otherwise, you'll be going back, going back and forth, back and forth to um, reattach, excuse me, reattach things. I.e. as I have to go back and reattach this one to this on the outside of that. So it looks like this. So thank you again for watching my video. I appreciate it. And um, come back again. I will have more on my site learning how to do different things this year. This is one thing that I've just learned how to do and I'm passing along my tips to you of what I found and the difficulties I found on it. So Ideally Simple Decor, Iris Arrington. We'll see you the next time. Bye-bye.